closed circuit television made it possible to observe the moment the twin explosions went off at the central police station and on parliamentary avenue. Uh. Police concluded that the explosion at the central police station was triggered by a suicide bomber seen in this video with a bag on his back. Some debate on the matter in the public sphere raises possibility that the individual marked out as the suicide bomber could have been a victim and not the perpetrator. However, frame-by-frame frame analysis by Dr. Bosco Oruru, a physicist at Makere University, debunks the claims. From my analysis, the person in wife, white came from that building. Then, uh, when she was passing the, the, the tree, I thought she, she never put anything down there. A critical analysis of the CCTV footage on the opposite side of the central police station taken at 3 minutes past 10 and 24 seconds appears to show the person putting the loose white gown back in position. Mm. However, when she was out uh, in, the, in the middle uh, w w where the other man was coming from there, I as if saw some signal some signal. I don't know whether she was making communication, but I cannot conclude that. And when the blast goes off eight seconds later, at three minutes past 10 and 33 seconds, the individual abruptly stops like the rest of the other people in the video frame before moving away. Oruru uses the direction of the light when the blast goes off to determine the origin of the explosion. This, this pattern here, okay? I'm seeing this pattern. I'm not more concerned about... Uh, uh, about this one hmm? because otherwise if the point was here one would also expect some some kind of a similar scenario coming this this side but now we are having something coming from here uh, throwing away the the, 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 the the air around there heating up the air around there and probably here but here there is some bit of a blockage. We don't know what is happening there, the, the, the other side. So in my opinion, yes, if we believe that this shock wave goes radially ev in every direction, then I would, I would think somewhere here would be the, 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 the point at which the blast uh, uh, originated. I would see this one as almost the center, okay? Because going radially, that other side it is going, that other side it is going, and this side it is going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it means the origin should have been in the center there. However, the physicist is not sure if two motorcycles seen in CCTV footage from Parliamentary Avenue shortly before the explosion at 6 minutes past 10 were on the same suicide mission. And from there, it is very, very difficult to tell. Because uh, in the first place, I, I saw two scenarios. One, there was an attempt to overtake the, 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 the car behind there, by both of them. And uh, one would think probably the, the second motorcyclist was attempting to overtake both the car and the other first uh, motorcyclist. He says the proper analysis on whether the two motorcyclists were on the same mission necessitates use of video footage from before their arrival at Parliamentary Avenue. In this Kampala city of ours and any other cities, border border are usually moving in that pattern. Unless we could have a footage where we could see these two motorcyclists coming together using probably another ca camera then we could know that probably they have the same motive. And that's why they, they, they may have come together and, 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 and this thing happens. Although the police stated the blast at Parliamentary Avenue was carried out by the persons riding the two separate motorcycles, the president in his statement makes mention of only one person called Abdallah Wanjusi as being responsible for the blast. Regardless of the manner in which the terrorist attacks were executed, the fact remains that lives were lost, several people were injured, buildings suffered damage, and there has been a sense of unease in Kampala since the bombs went off. Jackson Onyango, NTV.